Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully, you guys are doing great. Hopefully, you guys are doing amazing, guys. I'm going to bring you what I think is the most realistic driving mod in GT5. Super cool, super sweet. has a ton of features. But if you guys are new around here, please do consider subscribing, guys. I do upload a lot of GT5 mods. And if you're, you know, if you're watching for a while, give it a thumbs up. It would greatly help my channel out. Uh, but with that said, guys, you can see my BMW right now, my M3. The blinkers are on. I am not inside the car. I do have blinkers. My left one, my right one. And as you can see here, too, the wheel. The wheel's not centered, right? Because usually when you, you drive a car, you get out the car, it centers itself by itself, or it centers. Um, but this in this situation, the wheels don't center automatically. So it is going to be hard to drive with this mod, guys. But it's a super cool mod. I do think you guys should install it. It is awesome. Let's get in the car and let's, get a, let's start with a couple features that this mod does bring. So I'm going to get in the car. First thing you'll probably notice is the gauge on the bottom right hand corner. You can see we do have the fuel gauge, we do have the speedometer first gear rpms on the right we do have the hazard lights or the blinkers right left and the right one and i'm going to turn off the blinkers the hazard lights there we go so i pressed on the down arrow key to turn them off and i think let's just start off with is now that you have this mod you do need to turn on the car and turn it off so i'm going to turn off the car with shift z car is off car is quiet the wheel's still there i'm going to get out the car right there it is nice bmw m3 i'm going to get back in the car the car isn't gonna start automatically. We do need to turn on the car. We do need to put the key in and turn it. So the way you do that is press Shift Z. There we go. We hear the engine roar back to life. The gauge in the bottom right hand corner does come back to life as well. And then another thing too is the wheel. Watch, so I'm gonna turn the wheel. It is gonna be a lot slower. So look at how slow the wheel is. That does make the turning and the driving with this mod a lot harder. They try to give it a realistic touch and realistic isn't always easy in a video game, right? So as you can see here, I'm going to turn left. It's really slow. It's like heavy Turn right. So there definitely will be a learning curve, guys. So do expect it a little bit hard to drive with this mod on. So first thing, let's just start to driving. So as you can see now, guys, this is me literally pressing like the trigger, like all the way down. And this is as fast as I am going right now. So I do catch speed really slow, but it doesn't always have to be like that. So let's see. I'm going to turn here. All right, I'm gonna turn on my blinker because I'm gonna turn right and just just so you know what the blinkers guys the blinkers do turn off as soon as you, you know, turn send the wheel back so as you can see here I'm gonna turn all right blinker still on I'm gonna turn it again and it disappears so you can see I didn't do anything and it turns off as soon as you turn kind of like realistic like real life right but pretty much if you want to go full speed you do need to double tap in my situation I'm using a control you do have to double tap the right trigger so and now I'm going full speed, right? So now you can actually go full speed. So you don't always, always have to drive slow. And the kind of same situation with braking. So as you can see the brake light will go on now. So I do have the brake light. I am braking, but it doesn't brake right away. I will come to a stop eventually, but it doesn't takes a lot longer, right? So there we go. And again, I'm gonna go full speed. I'm gonna double tap the right trigger to go full speed. And the same thing, if you want to stop right away, you do need to double tap whatever the brake button is for you. My situation is the left trigger. There you go. I'm stopped at a full stop. There you go. Uh, the indicators, I pretty much already showed you that. So left, right, the left blinker, right on the, the right arrow, does the right one. You press down, the hazard lights come on, just like that. Turn it off, just like that. Boom. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then another thing, too, I do want to touch up on is there does there is a sport mode with this mod, guys. So if I press out on the keyboard, so out right next to the Windows key, next by the control, you can see my gauge turns red now. So I am in sport mode. I am in race mode. I am ready to go crazy. Pretty much what this eliminates is that slow part. So I don't have to double tap the right trigger to go full speed. I don't have to double tap the left trigger to stop. So as soon as I press it, I'm gone. So that's pretty much what it does. So the sport mode is a lot, I guess, more like normal driving, really. It just eliminates that slow aspect. And if I want to stop, I stop just like a normal car. So that is that guy. And another thing, too, guys, you do have cruise control now. All right. So let's say I want to go at a so let's say this speed right here. So I'm going to hit shift T. There is a little speedometer, a little, I guess, like a little speed in green on the on the gauge. So it is, it does say 78. So that is the speed that I will eventually catch up to. This it is a little buggy, like it does slow down. So you can see, I don't know why it's slowing down. I'm literally doing nothing, but I'm driving with no hands, guys. Driving with no hands, and it eventually will get to that speed. It just takes a little bit. Um, so you can see, I think it's starting to catch up now after it goes down. I don't know why it does that. It is a little buggy. It's a little buggy for me at least. Um, but eventually, we'll catch up to the speed. And it looks like it's catching up now, right? So it's gonna go up to eventually get catch up to 78. Then it's just gonna stop there. Again, I'm driving no hands. So I can talk to you guys with no hands. <laughs> uh, and if I want to go or adjust the speed, I press Shift U. So you see that 78 will change 
to whatever speed. So you see now it's 89. So now it's gonna go up to 89 miles per hour. And if I wanna slow down, I'm gonna hit Shift Y and it'll slow down to that, whatever speed that is. So I'm gonna say 51 miles per hour. It'll just stay at 51 miles per hour. There you go. And as it scrapes my BMW, oh, that sounds horrible. The last thing I do wanna show you guys is the fuel. So let's go to the fuel and to turn off the cruise control, press Shift T as I turn horribly. So it doesn't look like I need much fuel, but let's just stop here. So I'm gonna fuel my car. I wanna stop right here. I'm gonna get out the cart. And you can see on the bottom it says, cannot refuel guys, the engine is running. So we can't fuel the car unless we turn off the car. So let's get back in, hit shift Z to turn off the car. Let's turn it off. And now we can fuel our car. So I'm gonna get in here. It says my fuel level is a 98.11. So I'm gonna press LB to refuel. Uh, is that annoying little sound that's just ticking in the back? I don't know why it does that, but as you can see, it does take a little bit to fill up the gauge, but it, the gas doesn't go down too fast, which is nice. So it's not obnoxious. So there you go. Fuel level 100%. We are completely f have a full tank of gas in the M3. Gonna get back in it. You do have to turn on the car again. Shift Z. And there it is. So that's pretty much it for the mod, guys. A ton of cool features, like an all in one with the blinkers, the fuel, uh, the wheels so many things the driving the turning on the car the turning it off so this mod is definitely i do recommend you guys installing it's super easy to install too so it shouldn't mess up your game in case you do want to delete it uh, but let's get to that tutorial guys i want to show you guys how to install it give you the thumbs up subscribe if you've gotten this far and i'll be right with you guys all right as uh, welcome back so this is the mod guys it's called smooth driving v smooth driving 5 and then let's go ahead and click download guys i will have this linked in the description of the video uh, just how i do with all my tutorials just click download again open it up guys and just so you guys know you make sure you do have scriptic 5 make sure you do have scripted.net and make sure you do have open iv and still if you don't know how to install those you don't have those in this file, i will have a card at the top for leading you guys to my tutorial with that okay so once you download open it up guys extract it just how we extract all of our mods we're gonna hit extract let it load up guys and then just so you guys know do mod at your own risk guys right not all mods might work so just be careful not all mods might not all mods might work for you, just how they might not all work for me. So, all right, so let's go ahead and open up the mod. Let's leave this here. Let's go back to the root of GT5. So here we are, guys. We're at the very root, right? We got our mods, we got our scripts, we got our update folder, x64. Open up that mod. It should be right here, Smooth Driving 5. Go inside your scripts folder. If you don't have a scripts folder, guys, create one. The way you create one is hit this little folder icon and just type in scripts. All right, just type in scripts, all lowercase is fine. If you don't have it, hit okay. It'll create an empty folder, which is totally fine. You do want an empty folder if you, you know, if you just create a totally fine. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna create one since I already have a scripts folder. So I'm gonna open up my current scripts folder. As you can see, this, I have a bunch of mods in here. So ignore that guys. You're just gonna be totally different than mine, which is totally fine. Uh, but once you have that scripts folder, and if it's empty or maybe you have some mods in there, all you're gonna wanna do is just drag and drop to smooth driving dot, smooth driving five dot DLL in there. And the smooth driving five folder and that's pretty much it guys the mod is installed just like that guys so make sure you dump scriptic five script it down it and this open id installed for the mod to work um if it doesn't work right away i would recommend reinstalling scripted.net and then seeing it, if it'll work after that and just so you guys to know as well guys there is a guide on all the controls that's pretty much how i was able to know how to use this mod so as you can see here are the basics the driving shift z to turn on the car the indicators the cruise control so they did a pretty good job of showing us a bunch of cool stuff or the you know how to use the mod so the fuel the shifting the cruise control the indicator so it is in here it's called the guide open it up and it's pretty much the instructions for this mod pretty much it guys hopefully you guys enjoy let me know what you guys think give this video a thumbs up subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one all right take care